Now, I would like to move on to Ambassador Longbottom. Uh, thank you very much again for participating in today's forum. UK is hosting the upcoming COP26 in Glasgow. And building up to this extremely important event next month, the government have announced very ambitious targets for carbon reduction and clearly indicated that UK will be the front runner in the global effort to combat climate change. So could you please share us about the UK's leadership and initiatives towards 2030? Please. Thank you very much, Chida-san. Um, and yes, just two weeks to go now to COP26 in Glasgow. And as the IPCC report has shown, um, we know that the impacts of climate change um, are very frightening and we really need to act now. The British government sees climate change as a, a really top priority. We were the first major economy to establish a legally binding target of net zero emissions by 2050, which we did in 2019. We've committed to reducing emissions by 68% by 2030 and by 78% by 2035, leading to net zero by 2050. And we've shown that decarbonisation and economic growth can go hand in hand. Between 1990 and 2019, we reduced our total greenhouse gas emissions by 44%, while at the same time growing our economy by 78%, the best performance in the G7. Last year, our Prime Minister set out an ambitious 10-point plan for a green industrial revolution, an innovative and ambitious program to create jobs and support growth across all our regions with up to 250,000 high-skilled green jobs created by 2030. We've also looked at um, vehicles. The sale of new petrol and diesel cars will be banned from 2030, with some exceptions for some hybrid cars up to 2035. And on coal, uh, back in 2012, 40% of our electricity came from coal. But last year, that figure had reduced to less than 2%. We will have phased out coal power completely by the end of September 2024. In the same period, we've boosted our offshore wind deployment. We now have more than a third of the world's offshore wind turbines operating in the UK. So as you can see, uh, and as you said, we, uh, we do have a very ambitious agenda to reach these um, climate goals to reduce um, carbon emissions. It's great to hear about the initiatives that uh, Tokyo Metropolitan Government are taking and other cities around the world. And there's a lot to be done to achieve all of these targets in, in the UK and Japan and all around the world. Uh, but I think the UK and Japan in particular are ideal partners to work on achieving net zero together through sharing our expertise and further building our partnerships. Thank you very much.